What's up, YouTube? Southern Comic Geek coming to you with a CGC unboxing. Surprise, right? That I actually have a CGC unboxing. Well, there's a story to go along with that. And I got a whole bunch of mail calls in from different people in the community. So if you want to see what I picked up today and what grade I got, stay tuned for the video. Now, before we get into all this comic book goodness, I have to give the obligatory introduction, and that is to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Hit the subscription bell and buttons if you haven't already, so that when videos like this drop ever so randomly, you were one of the first people to know and can make the conscious decision as to whether or not to watch an hour later. As long as you're watching, we appreciate you. Also, we want to make sure that you are entered in to win the thousand subscriber giveaway uh, for that 9.8 CBCS slab or the Wolverine number one. Now, uh, there are three different ways, uh, actually four. No one has tested the fourth one yet, but uh, there is four ways, and you can have multiple entries by completing all four. If you haven't already, go ahead and do so, because at the time of this taping, we are at 938 subscribers, uh, so 62 subscribers away from a thousand if my math serves me correctly go ahead and get in because you never know that might happen tomorrow and that might happen three years from now it never uh, you never can tell with youtube so for your convenience the link is down below so there you go do it right after you watch this video that is okay so i uh, got a whole bunch of mail calls and a cgc unboxing which i will save uh to the latter part of the video so um, just like people do with me, I uh, do with other sellers, and that is that I will uh, buy stuff, and depending on how full a box is, I will um, just continue to uh, build a box with them uh, to try to uh, save on shipping costs uh, or spread that shipping cost over uh, more uh, books. And um, this is what I did here with Mr. Keith Lackey. So Keith, uh, Mr. 9.8 himself, is uh, can be found on several different auctions across the spectrum, I guess, when he's just trying to clean out this book or that book. But um, I don't know if he does his own YouTube content or not. I just know that he's on several different channels. And, uh, doing his uh, sales. So, um, I had bought a whole bunch of books and told them to hold them because there's still room. And then after so long, I just like to go ahead and get them in my hand. don't like people to have to hold my books that long. Um, usually what happens is I get somebody to go ahead, oh, let's just go ahead and call it quits and send me the box as what I've got. And then that's about the time they'll throw something else up that I won't. Got another box. I think it's, it's really on purpose. Of course, some people can say that about me uh, as well. But it's happened to people that buy from me. Very unique packaging here. Surgical procedure here with a scapel. Okay. Keep locking. Books up tighter and four times. So shout out to Key for doing that. And it's hard to be too careful with books these days because the post office, I think, is practicing their football game. Um, let's see. Keith, where are the pull tabs, man? Where are the pull tabs? Discovery Bay would not approve of this packaging. Uh, no pull tabs. Yep, pull tabs are really helpful, especially when you're packing it up this tight, just because you get all excited and accidentally pull something, bend it, and then pick it up and. No going back. 
Other than that, everything else looks pretty secure. Hopefully you're just chilling like a villain um, while you're watching this video. Maybe lay back drinking some coffee, a latte, or some other form of legal drink. All right. Let's see what I get from here. I don't remember buying these, but I don't know. Maybe I did buy them. Dang, I didn't buy a whole bunch of those lately. How'd that work out? I'm not sure because the only uh, I might I, I could go back and I can look at my PayPal, but I was thinking I had only bought the one lot from him, but there is another lot in here. Must have had them up for too cheap for me to pass up. So who knows about me? I don't even know. So if I don't know, how can I expect you to know? So let's talk about the uh, while I am. Uh, and you're probably fast forwarding through this, but while I am unboxing this, which I should have done before I started this video, um, let's talk about the thousand subscriber giveaway. Uh, so, uh, as you are probably aware, it is a 9.8 CBCS Wolverine uh, banana cover uh, C2E2 exclusive, and um, everybody knows that book by now. And if you don't know it by now, you'll never, never, never know it. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, uh, so all you got to do to enter to win is go to the 1,000 subscriber video uh, that I linked down below. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Like the uh, uh, video. And in the comments, say, I want in. That's it. Pretty simple. That's all you want to do. You can certainly win because it only takes one chance to win, right? And then the... Um, other way you can win is to say uh, to tag me on IG and uh, talk about the uh, contest and that kind of thing. Tag me on it, and that will get you five more entries to win. Uh, so that's fairly easy too. But if you don't deal IG and don't know about tags and all that kind of stuff, you might not want to fool with that, and that's fine. Uh, the other way is you can uh, make a video. I uh, haven't been really specific on what you want to put in the video other than putting my information channel, that is, information in your video description and shouting out the uh, channel and the giveaway in your video. If you do that, because there is so much great content out there, you can't get around to all of it. Sometimes you miss some. And uh, so be sure to let me know you've done that. That way I can make sure to see it and uh, give you proper credit. But if you do that, uh, you can actually get 10 chances to win that way. Um, also, uh, if you send uh, Stevie B, uh, hashtag Stevie B Valiant, uh, some Valiant comic books, I'm going to give you some additional giveaways. I think I said uh, uh, chances to win. So that is 10, I believe that's what I said. Nobody's taken me up on that yet. I've got plenty of extra Valiant. And I just Stevie can be so hurtful to Valiant. It's more of a gag than anything else. Stevie's not a Valiant fan. <laughs> uh, for those who don't know Stevie B. Um, so, uh, he cannot honestly say that no um, comics were hurt in the filming of his videos, because sometimes they are. And, uh, you know, not everybody can have a good taste. You know, what do you do? What do you do? We almost got through all of this packaging here, people. So we're getting through this package laboriously. Getting through all this good stuff here. Got a pound of packing tape now. I will cut out a pound of packing tape. <laughs> all right. So um, Keith collects Immortal Hulk, or he's trying to get all the variants and stuff like that, which, you know, Immortal Hulk's coming to an end at 50. So at least there's an end in sight for him. But uh, some awesome Alex Ross covers. Uh, read Immortal Hulk early on, but did not uh, get into collecting it. I don't still don't collect Hulk, right? Legion of Comics. Um, but uh, yeah, so just great covers. Decided to pick these up on the cheap from uh, Keith. So we got Immortal Hulk number 26. Alex Ross goodness there. Number 27, the Alex Ross cover. Number 28, 
29. This is the Marvel's X uh, variant to number 30. This is Immortal Hulk. I forget the number, but this is the uh, uh, Indian variant. Homogenous people or indigenous people, whatever it's called. Uh, number 40. So this is number 40. I'm really on this run only interested in the homage covers. Joe Bennett does those. Uh, so the homage covers and the Alex Ross covers. So I probably will sell the other ones that don't fit in that category like that one. Uh, and I already have one of these. Uh, Mortal Hulk number 25. Number 24. 23. 22. 21. 19. Awesome 18 cover there. Uh, this is the Battle Lines variant of Immortal Hulk number 17. Uh, so that's probably another one. I mean, it's kind of cool, but got to draw a line somewhere, I guess. Number 17. Number 16. Pretty dope cover there. Uh, number 15. This is a third printing. Yeah, I mean, there's like uh, different printings of them, and then really they're just on the most of those Marvel second, third, fourth, fifth printings are just pictures of the inside of the books, you know. So this is TMNT number 90. I believe I already have this. Um, this is number 32. Number 29. Number 30. Got a bunch of those. I don't, it's like, does somebody open up a box somewhere? Because uh, I'm just seeing these pop up everywhere now uh, that I got them. Uh, Mortal Hulk number 14. And then number 15, the variant edition. This is, I guess, the Marvel's uh, 25th anniversary, which was a good story. Another Alex Ross story. So it's kind of. Uh, shouting out his own self, right? <laughs> hey, if you're not going to shout your own self out, who else are you, who else is going to? All right, so I'm not sure who this came from. Um, don't recognize the name, such as it is when you're used to calling people by their uh, YouTube names you know, or Instagram names. Sometimes I don't recognize their real names on these packages. Here. I know who the last one is before we get to the CGC unboxing. While I unpack this, if you haven't already done so, now is a good time to go ahead and smash that like button. Helps the YouTube algorithm. Maybe we'll get to a thousand subscribers sooner, and somebody is going to have the opportunity to take that Wolverine one home. Yeah, so, if we go to your home. It will be a good home for it. Man, this package. Guys over here. She always likes packaging supplies because I always reuse them. Okay, this looks familiar. I'm trying to remember who I bought this from though. Uh, Oh, yes, 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 yes. I remember. Okay. This was a seller on Instagram. And um, I typically do not buy for, from people on Instagram that uh, have less than a thousand followers. I made an exception here. Um, but normally I don't. And it's really, I mean, I know everybody started somewhere, but you know, the, the reasoning behind it is unless I just know somebody that can vouch for them, uh, you just don't know. You know, you pay friends and family, they disappear off the face of the earth and your money's gone. So bought uh, these four books from him, The Batman, The Killing Joke. This is one of the latter printings of that. Um, so um, dope cover, dope story. If you haven't read it, go check it out. 
uh, Incredible Hulk 377. This is, of course, the first Professor Hulk. This is the second printing. I had the first printing. Uh, the third printing is the Ghost Book that uh, is, you know everybody loves to try to find. Um, Super Mario Brothers number one. Uh, so you knew I had to throw a little Valiant Love in there somewhere, and there it is. There it is. Um, also, Detective Comics number 475. This is the Laughing Fish uh, deal. So if you notice the scribbling on there, uh, there are actually, it looks like multiple signatures, actually on there uh well no okay that's the clock in so supposedly and supposedly this is adam west's signature so according to uh the seller he bought this from a uh older lady whose husband had passed away and was a big adam west fan uh and had gotten him to sign it um the book uh, probably in a mid-grade um maybe a press could help it maybe not but uh anyway i plan on sending this to cbcs to see if i can get that verified um that it is indeed a adam west signature we'll see um he according to him he had uh compared it to other adam west signatures and it looked like it lined up but you know looks can be deceiving we don't have the same software that they use for that but according to them that is what that is so we shall see that will be another video for another day um i'll send that off to eric the comic book underscore presser um uh, so uh use the code burt family 54 and save on shipping back to you and um i've got some credits because he'll put up um he'll say hey you don't have to use them right now but you know basically um you know, if you want $100 worth of credits, you only pay 75 bucks. And uh, so I've got several credits I've already pre-purchased with them. This is uh, from a guy who uh, won my uh, 750 subscriber giveaway, which was the X-Men 4, first Scarlet Witch. Uh, he has been making his rounds on the uh, YouTube uh, auction shows. Uh, oh, there's an, anyway, okay, cool. Um, been making the round on the YouTube shows and probably, um, <laughs> so he has been uh, doing that and, um, he actually reached out to me. So Jeff hard to come back and, um, reached out to me and said, Hey, um, you interested in these? I don't know if he had was at a shop and he saw them there or what the deal was. So he said, "Hey, I'll uh, I'll do all these for the low low." And I said, "Okay." So pull the trigger. Uh, the, ironically enough, I just got that book the other day. Uh, <laughs> this is why you always write down when you buy stuff online, people. CLZ will let you do that. Um, most of the time I do that, except for stuff like, you know, I'm thinking, you know, when are you going to come across some gold key products? Like, you know, it's not stuff you just come across all the time. So, yeah, the Great Escape, yeah, I know where he shopped at. I know where he shopped at. It's a good shop if you are up in the Nashville area, by the way. But he uh, found all of these. Gold Key Comics, and so I collect the Gold Key Comics that are related to the Valiant uh, characters, Magnus, Turok, and Solar. So um, this is Magnus the Robot Fighter. This is, uh, that's what the number one looks like. I'll have to look them up. Yeah, Origin of Magnus, Collector's Reprint. And uh, have to look them up because they're not uh, uh, numbered. Uh, as you might know so still 12 cent goodness right there um solar man of the atom 
So for the first time, Solar shows himself as the invincible man of the atom. So it's not going to be Solar number one, but it must be an early one. Magnus, the robot fighter. I mean, just awesome painted covers. And really, you know, most of the time these things are beat to high heavens. Um, another Magnus. The only ones that are really worth anything either way are the number ones. Um, so Magnus, the robot fighter there. And I have the Magnus, the robot fighter, number one, but I don't have the other two. Magnus enters a new dimension, the weird world of Mogul Bido. Another Magnus. And we'll have to end up getting some more Golden Age bags to uh, rebag and board these. Uh, so there is another one. We got Turok, Son of Stone. Truck is alarmed by Andar's hunker friend. All right, that one right there. And Truck, son of stone, pursued to death by the hunker that could not die. The painted mystery death lurks behind its tantalizing secret. I just bought this one not too long ago. Paid more than that for it. Mm, that sucks. All right, so then we got uh, aided by a talking neo dog, Magnus invades the hazardous domain of the vicious Goths. So the Goths were the underworld uh, people, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, and then you had uh, this one right here. I've actually got a foreign edition of this one with this, with this cover anyway. Uh, then we got Turok, Son of Stone, a grim warning to Turok and Andar. Turn back or die. Magnus, the robot fighter. And I don't really collect Conan outside of the early issues, uh, Barry Windsor Smith issues. Uh, but I know a guy who does, and so I am going to reach out to him and see if he is interested in these because I'm working on an AOK -okay for him. So I'm going to see if he is interested in these. Um, right there. So that's uh, Conan the Savage number one. We got uh, Savage Sword of Conan, number 225. Nice little wraparound cover there. Let's see who all did something in this book. Ernie Chan. Hmm. Roy Thomas and John Pacema. Cool. All right. So we got all that out of the way. So let's get to this um, CGC. Um, so I bought a um, already done. And so here comes the CGC rant. <laughs> CGC rant of the day. Um, but I bought an already done sketch cover from Freddie Williams. So you might know him, uh, this is at least the way I know him from, is the Batman TMNT crossover that has been done. There's, I think, three different deals of that. And so um, he had a Michelangelo sketch cover. And so I uh, reached out to him, claimed it. And uh, he asked me, he said, do you want me to send it in to CGC? Uh, he said, you'll have to actually uh, do it on your account. He said, uh, he said I'm not going to charge you anything for it. There's a little uh, artist form that I fill out uh, that allows you to get the yellow label, and I'll put it and mail it to them. I mean, it's no skin off my back because it's just like me mailing it to you. And then they'll turn around and mail it back to you uh, since you set up on your uh, your account and so i said great 
He did not. He wasn't set up with CBCS that I remember correctly. Um, anyways, so CGC, uh, he sent it to them for whatever reason. Uh, I was feeling frisky that day and paid to um, expedite it. So I paid more for it to get done faster. So it gets to CGC finally, uh, and they, they finally get it. It took a couple of weeks for them to finally post it on their website as received, even though the post office was saying it was received. Uh, and then I get a call, and it says, hey, I've got your book here, and according to you, this is signed, but I don't have anything dealing with the artist. I said, well, I got a picture from him uh, showing as he was putting it in the box the form that he has to fill out, uh, so on and so forth. And um, she said, well, it's not here. I said, well, I don't know what to tell you because I know that he was putting it in the box because he sent me a picture right before he done it. Um, she says, well, what's his number? I don't know his number. I can give you his Instagram handle and you can reach out to him that way. She said, because this is not how you do it. You have to put this thing. And I want to say, lady, don't pretend to lecture me on how to do things when CGC can't even uh, slab a comic right these days. Um, when you're mixing up labels, putting bugs in them, cracking them and everything else, don't pretend that you're going to lecture me on how to handle things. Okay. Okay, lady. So uh, I gave her his IG handle. She reached out to him. He uh, reached back out to me and said, hey, look, they contacted me. Or I, I had told him, I had messaged him and said, hey, look, they're going to contact you. He said, I put that in there. I said, well, I believe you. I'm just telling you they probably lost it because that's the way they roll. And uh, You have got to be cotton picking kidding me. Wow. <sighs> CGC. So I was happy to purport this right here. Dope sketch of Michelangelo. Got a 9-8 without a, uh, a um, press or anything. And, um, yeah, so without a press or anything, got a uh, white, uh, obviously white pages, but nine, eight, uh, great, fantastic, happy. It only took a month, uh, which used to be the normal turnaround time, by the way, uh, for, and with an expedited, uh, time from the time that they say they got it to the time that they actually did something with it. I personally believe that they have it and they personally are keeping it from going to the next stage in the computer system that you see uh, just because uh, that way that gives them a little more lead way time. But I digress. Here's the deal, CGC. Uh, this is a 9.8, right? Does anybody see that right there? That's not a crack, people. That's a hair. So they put a hair in my book. So I'm making sure that it's not indeed like a just a draw line because I would think that they would count off for that. But no, that's a hair because it's raised up off of the actual comic. So Yay, CGC, another horrible job. When will you finally lose your pedestal as the grading company? When will we as collectors quit spending good money only to be let down? Mistakes happen. I get that. But they're quite more regular. I understand you're getting more books. So statistically, you're more likely to make more mistakes. I get that. Hire more people. Quit maximizing your profits. Hire more people. It's pretty simple. And, um, you know, eventually people are going to get tired of that um, and go somewhere else. And uh, is it CBCS? I don't know because um, I've seen uh, another YouTuber um, put out, send me pictures of the CBCS labels were backwards. So they, too, 
are facing some of the same thing. Um, it's just so aggravating. Well, you know, that you have to turn around and send this back. So finally get it back. Never, I've never had it in my possession, actually, you know, because he had it. He had drawn it, and I bought it from him, and he shipped it to there, and to, back and then they sent it to me. So I've never even had it in my possession. So I finally get it, and it's like, boom, yes. Only to open this up on this video and notice that there is a hair in there. You know, of course, I could leave the hair in there and then say, hey, look, it also comes with a free hair. Maybe it has somebody's DNA on it. Maybe it'd be like Jurassic Park one day and somebody could make a clone out of it or something. All right. Well, another epic fail, CGC. Congratulations for being a loser. Uh, when will we, as uh, collectors, um, make you the loser by um, deciding we're not going to take it anymore? Send it to another one of the grading companies. Um, so who knows? We'll see. Leave me a comment down below um, on what you think of these pickups, including the CGC uh, epic fail there. And uh, we'll go uh, from there. So appreciate everyone for hanging around with me long enough to see <laughs> this uh, CGC uh, fail there. And um through all the unpacking, be sure to enter the thousand subscriber contest. And until next time, keep reading and keep collecting. Adios.